Hey YouTube, <coughs> Eaton476 here bringing you a video game review of Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is the sequel to the award winning Fallout 3 from the popular Fallout series developed by Bethesda Game Studios. Fallout New Vegas is set in the Mojave Wasteland, which has started to recover from an atomic war which has desecrated the world and left many people to fend for themselves. In most Fallout games, the startup can be very frustrating. Nearly always running out of ammo and being killed by nearly every enemy that comes into sight. It can be put it can put off very impatient people, such as myself, from playing the game. But if you stick with it, you'll be very pleasantly surprised. The near endless streams of quests in which you can embark on, from weird and interesting characters you meet along the way, make Fort New Vegas a strange but very entertaining experience for all people with an interest in role playing games. The gameplay of Fort New Vegas differs slightly from Fallout 3, but for the better with NPC animations a lot more smoother and more natural than Fallout 3, with the ability to look down the sights, unlike its predecessor. If you're hesitant to buy the game because you think it will be a remake of Fallout 3, you're making a terrible mistake. Fallout New Vegas completely new questline, new weapons, armour, companions, locations and factions make the game just as addictive as its pre of the previous contender, and I'd personally say I prefer New Vegas to Fallout 3, mainly because of the location it's in. Unlike Fallout 3, in Fallout New Vegas you can visit the famous Vegas Strip, which contains all of the game's casinos, which, if you are wise and chose luck as your one of main attributes, you could be greatly rewarded with thousands of cash, which just <laughs> you know makes the game so much easier. One frustrating point about the Strip, though, is most uh, new players will find it very challenging to enter due to either the really high credit check, ridiculously high science level, or passport required to enter, so you might need to uh, seek the help of an online forum or video to uh, video tutorial to help. Another very frustrating point about this game is the ending of the main storyline. In Fallout 3 they, uh, there was a huge uproar from the community because at the end of the main story the game ended which so you couldn't continue playing on that data unless you reloaded an all safe data because most people didn't know that the story was going to end they didn't save it and thus losing all the data. Uh, so Bethesda released a DLC which was named Brotherhood of Broken Steel, and this allowed a longer questline continuation after the main quest was completed. So, you would think the smart thing to do would be to put it in the sequel, right? Well, not for Bethesda. Again, just like its predecessor, again, the main quest finishes after you finish the game. Luckily, in Fallout New Vegas, it auto-saves it for you before you enter the last part. So you can always go back to that. But it, is, it does make the game very frustrating, and sort of makes you wa not want to finish the game if that makes sense. But uh, what, they've, what uh, Bethesda has done is they've made four very large DLC packages which are Dead Money, which is set in the Sierra Madre Casino, Honest Hearts, which is set in a wasteland just outside of Mojave, uh, Old World Blues, which is set in a crater very far away from the Mojave and somehow you end up getting there through a satellite, which still baffles me today. And the most anticipated Lonesome Road DLC, which you retake your role as a courier and go and find the lost courier, which you'll find out I won't do any spoilers or anything. All of which are exciting and make the game experience that little bit more intriguing. The final verdict is due to the vast amounts of playing time you can have doing the huge amounts of quests, searching for unique weapons and armour, killing countless numbers of enemies, which as you can see due to the video I enjoy doing, <laughs> um, and causing havoc between the NCR and Caesar's Legion. Fallout New Vegas is an entertaining game for most types of gamers. Yes, it may have its bugs here and there, but and a lot of frustrating points about it, but most of them can be easily avoided or aren't really significant enough to change the game experience. So I'd easily give Fallout New Vegas a 9.5 out of 10. Obviously this is just my opinion and everyone else is entitled to their own opinion, but if it isn't mine it's wrong. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But um, if you have any different views on it, please feel free to comment on the uh, section. Uh, sorry, comment on the video. Please, no bad comments. This is my first ever game review, so please don't be too harsh on me. And uh, please subscribe if you want uh, game video game reviews in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.